Dear students, welcome once again in this series of video lessons for Standard 4 Computer Science. In today's video lesson, we will learn about a word processing software called MS Word. The points that will be covered in today's video lesson are what is word processor? How to start MS Word, MS Word interface or opening screen, office button, quick access toolbar and ribbon, features of word processor. So let us start today's video lesson. So what is a word processor? Word processor is a software that allows us to do processing of textual matter. Means whatever we type in a computer, we have to type in word processor. And our text can be presented in a presentable manner by using the facilities provided by a word processor. MS Word is an example of word processor. In today's video lesson, we are going to learn about Microsoft Word, whenever we create any MS Word file in a computer, it looks like an icon shown in the window. MS Word file always has extension .doc or .docx. This extension helps computer to categorize different types of computer files. So let us see how to start MS Word in your computer. MS Word is a utility software that has to be installed in the computer before we start using it. Once you install that software in your computer, then you can start it by following the steps which will be described in the video. To start MS Word, first of all, click on the start button on the extreme left hand side of your computer screen. Then you click on all programs and search for MS Office. Click on MS Office folder and search for Microsoft Word Office 2007. Here we are using Word 2007. So click on that and Word 2007 will get open. So this is the initial screen or the interface of MS Word. So in this way, you can very easily open MS Word in your computer. MS Word interface means the opening screen. When you start MS Word, the opening screen looks like this. It has many buttons and options provided. Few of these options we are going to learn in standard 4. As you can see in the figure, on the extreme left hand side top corner, there is an office button. Besides that, there is a quick access toolbar. Then you have a title bar where the name of 
your file when you save it that name will appear then you have scroll bar horizontal ruler vertical ruler and the text area some of these features we will learn in the next slides then there is a thing called as ribbon this ribbon lies just below the quick access toolbar there are many things on the ribbon some of these things we are going to learn as you can see in the figure there are different tabs like home insert page layout etc then there are various buttons and all these options are organized in the form of groups as you can see like clipboard font paragraph etc now we will learn about various options available on the opening screen of ms word here in standard 4 only few things you are going to learn in the video which will be played in the window i am going to cover few options of ms word interface these are as follows office button text area title bar scroll bar quick access toolbar ruler ribbon then tabs in tabs we will be learning only home tab then groups in the home tab clipboard and font group so let us see the video in the window so that these things will be clear to you we will first start any microsoft office word file in our computer double clicking on the icon of the file will open your file now as you can see on the left hand side extreme top corner you can see the office button if you click on this office button then various options such as new open save save as will be available to you by clicking on the respective option you can use it this is called as a text area means uh, you can also see the cursor a blinking line appears on the blank page whatever you type through the keyboard that will appear on the right hand side of your left hand side of your text area i have typed these two words text area over here as you can see and that blinking line called as cursor that cursor position will decide where your type text will appear in the text area as you can see if the cursor position is wrong the type matter will come over there so you should be aware about the cursor position before typing your text
so this way in the text area you can type any matter that you want then you can see on the top the name of the file is written it is written on the title bar once you save your file with any name of your choice that name will appear on the title bar and on your right hand side there is a scroll bar vertical scroll bar by scrolling that scroll bar you can move your file then quick access toolbar besides the office button where you can get the commands that are more frequently used you can even add your commands in the quick access toolbar if you like by this method this is called as ruler ruler decides the margins that will be available in your page you can increase or decrease the text margin by using a ruler then this entire strip is called as ribbon the options on the ribbon will change based on the tabs that you have selected right now the home tab is active so all the options on the ribbon are related to the home tab you can click on various tabs like insert page layout etc and you can see that the ribbon options will change in standard 4 we will be concentrating only on the home tab in home tab also particularly we will learn about the clipboard and font group options so these are the various options available in clipboard and font group how to use them that we will learn in our later chapters now features of word processor means what kind of facilities you will get if you are making your document in a word processor just for the sake of explanation here i am comparing typing in ms word with writing in the notebook so that the features of word processor will be clear to you very easily features of ms word fast if you want to write same or similar type of things again and again in your document then it will be very easy with the word processor because here you can get various options to write or type same or similar type of things but if you are writing in a notebook and if you want to write similar type of things then you have to write them again and again means it will consume your time so if you are making a document in computer by using word processor your work will be faster editing features if you are typing in ms word you will get lot of editing features some of the examples are copy paste spell check etc but this type of options are not available to you if you are writing in a notebook permanent storage once you have made some document and stored it means save it then it will get stored in a digital form in your computer so it can be stored for a long time in your computer if you are writing something in a notebook then over a period of time your notebook can get damaged 
means you can have this feature of permanent storage in word processor formatting features once you have typed something in a word processor you can change the font style means the letter style letter size you can also change the spacing between the lines and all these modifications can be done even after writing the things and that can be done very easily but this type of thing or features are not available to you if you are writing in a notebook graphics in a word document you can insert various types of graphics images shapes and that too you can insert very easily but if you want to add images in your notebook then that process will be very difficult so in this way if you are using word processor to make your document you can get this whole range of features which are not available when you are writing in a notebook here you should understand that writing in a notebook has also has also have its own advantages here this example is used just for explanation purpose so that features of the word processor will be clear to you all so this is all for today in next week you will learn about creating a word document saving a word document opening a word document and text selection methods i hope you must have understood today's topic so see you next week with the new lesson till that time stay safe stay healthy and take care